Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. President Joe Biden and Congress are now developing a new plan for how to restart student loan payments. The Senate is ready to vote on the new sweeping bill that was just proposed in Congress. Friends, welcome back to my channel today. This is your daily news report and fourth stimulus check update. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and stay tuned until the end of this video. To learn how to enter this Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, this week could be the last dance for federal voting rights legislation. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is moving to set up a vote on the Freedom to Vote Act, which is likely to take place Wednesday. Chuck Schumer, who said it has the support of all 50 Democratic voting senators, said the bill is necessary to right the ship of our democracy and establish common sense national standards to give fair access to our democracy to all Americans. The bill does not have the 60 votes it needs to overcome a guaranteed Republican filibuster, meaning it will die unless Democrats stop the filibuster. They do not have the 50 votes for that, and they would need something close to a miracle to get them. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has promised that the measure will go nowhere. So friends, do you agree with Mitch McConnell in regards to the filibuster? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. The sprawling bill would set minimum standards for voting access in all U.S. states. It is a pared back version of the For the People Act to give states more flexibility in some policies. Chuck Schumer said, I think Senator Manchin and the other members who have admirably sought common ground with our Republican colleagues. I hope Republicans now join us in common cause to protect the integrity of our democracy. Now, on an entirely different matter, <clears throat> there's a famous saying, if you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is to stop digging. Well, Madam President, my Democratic colleagues' policy decisions have dug our economy into a deep hole, and American families desperately need them to stop digging. The families of this country are currently battling the worst inflation in well over a decade. Over the last 12 months, consumer prices have shot up by 5.4%. Gasoline prices and food prices each increased by a full 1.2% just last month alone. That's just in one month. Year on year, groceries are about 4.5% more expensive than they were at this time in 2020. Let's look at housing. Rent jumped a full half a percentage point just in September alone. That was the biggest monthly jump in two decades. On paper, American workers have been getting raises. The average worker's paychecks have gotten bigger over the last year. But the Democrats' inflation has cannibalized all those gains and then some. Any man or woman in the country who hasn't, hasn't gotten a pay raise of 5.5% this year has actively, effectively had their pay cut by the Democrat inflation. So, let me say it again, unless you've recently gotten a 5.5% raise, you've gotten a pay cut. And even if the households that have enjoyed pay raises are contending with major shortages of the things they want to buy and rapid and unpredictable price changes. What remains to be seen is whether Democrats steamroll the GOP. Some have suggested a carve out to the filibuster for voting rights. But Senators Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema, despite supporting the bill, want to keep the 60 vote rule. Eli Zupnik, a former Senate Democratic leadership aide who leads a coalition of groups pushing to end the filibuster, said the coming need to lift the debt ceiling could build pressure to change the rules if Republicans make good on their vow to block it. Zupnik stated, These next six weeks are make or break for President Biden and Senate Democrats. They are either going to tackle the filibuster and do something to protect voting rights 
and our democracy. Or they're going to spend the next year wishing they had and offer weak excuses to voters for why they did not. A Democratic aide speculated that Chuck Schumer is unlikely to twist Joe Manchin's arm on the filibuster. While he needs his votes to pass a Build Back Better legislation, Biden's top priority. Friends, the key word for this video is spice. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and please comment below this keyword. Thank you so much, friends. The Biden administration is also developing plans for how it will restart federal student loan payments early next year when the crisis pause on monthly payments for tens of millions of Americans ends. The Education Department is eyeing proposals that would give borrowers new flexibility as they face student loan bills for the first time in nearly two years, such as initial grace period for missed payments. The documents and sources show this. Officials are also looking at policies to make it much easier for millions of borrowers to remain enrolled in income-based repayment programs to avoid a sudden increase in their monthly payment amount. And the administration is actively considering a sweeping plan to expunge the defaults of borrowers who are struggling even before the crisis. The plans, some of which are still in progress, are not yet finalized, are aimed at averting a potential surge in delinquencies when payments resume in February of 2022, which the Biden administration announced back in August. Turning back on the federal government's massive $1.6 trillion student lending apparatus that's largely been frozen for nearly two years is an unprecedented logistical challenge for the Education Department. It is also full of political pitfalls as progressives urge the administration to focus on widespread debt forgiveness rather than resuming payments. There are more than 40 million federal student loan borrowers at the moment that have benefited from the Education Department's pause on interest and monthly payments that began in March 2020. The Biden administration most recently extended the relief through the end of January, which officials have insisted was the last reprieve. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona has previously stated he wants to create a smooth ramp up for bars to restart payments. Friends, thank you so much for joining me here this Tuesday morning. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure you click and like this video. Also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and comment below the keyword from this video. Thank you so much and have a very blessed Tuesday.